Hi everybody, welcome to EO Paranormal, previously known as EO Comics. Okay, so I actually checked with quite a few of the earlier stuff. It appears that he did a lot of still images in the videos. So I think I've found one of the first ones which has actual video footage for us to react to. I'm going to be reacting to 10 Ouija board possessions caught on tape. If you want to check out the video for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. Go over there, show your support. He's been doing this for quite a while now, and, you know, he's put in quite a lot of work, so uh, go check him out. Number 10, High Tech Ghost. If you can summon spirits using a homemade Ouija board, then it stands to reason that a digital version would work just as well. This is what happened to an 18-year-old girl from Lima, Peru, when she used a Ouija board app on her smartphone. After yeah, using the app with her friends to ask just a few questions, Patricia Kispe somehow managed to summon a spirit that apparently followed her home. Soon after playing with the board, her parents noticed that she started to throw violent tantrums and foam at the mouth. See, I always question what they refer to as demonic possessions. Like, don't get me wrong, if it's real, it's terrifying. It's, uh, it's, I wouldn't wish, wish it upon anybody. How she's reacting there, is it necessarily demonic? like demonic or is she just kind of having a seizure or something unless she kind of climbs the wall then i'm probably voting more towards that her voice changed too it became strained and evil as she thrashed about in her restraints the poor girl often that feels like a bit of a stretch saying she became evil i'm sure if i was wriggling around having a seizure i might make some kind of strange noises as well shouted the same phrases over and over again she would repeat the number six three times in a row and she would also tell doctors to give her back her phone presumably so that she could get back on the ouija app and cause further damage she was taken to a psychiatric ward to be further examined whether she regained her senses or remains internally possessed is a mystery what bro what are you talking about man did that last bit happen like was she rushing to get on her phone or is that just kind of been added just to Sprinkle on a bit of, you know, extra. I don't like where this is going. I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. Four girls are about to witness the power of the Ouija board firsthand. The video begins just as they are receiving an answer to their final question, and they are now ready to end the session. They start to move the cup in a circle three times to clear the board, but whatever they have summoned is not exactly ready to leave quite yet. Okay. Is she just acting? I mean, they are recording it at the end of the day, and kids do stupid things. So, yeah, I mean, it looks weird. Just before the girls can cast the spirit back into its own dimension, it desperately leaps inside one of them and takes control. Then the possession ends as quickly as it began. They oh, all run. She actually better lip there. If she was acting, she like really went for it. That is a little bit weird. I don't know how I feel about Ouija boards. I've only ever done one once. And uh, yeah, I'll... it was embarrassing. There was a guy next to me who was like a ghost hunt in a place I question was even haunted. There was this guy stood next to me and he was quite clearly pushing, but he had his eyes closed while he was doing it. And surprise, surprise, it spelt out nothing that made any sense. And he just, yeah, I'll never forget how I thought he was a bit of a tit, to be honest. But he was definitely pushing the plan planchette, is it? 
rush in and one of the girls cradles her friends in her arms as she cries and trembles. As this footage from Mexico shows, humans are far from the only things that can potentially become possessed by summoned spirits. In this video, three friends are just hanging out together in a cramped room, trying to use a Ouija board to summon whatever spirits they can find. Suddenly, it looks like they attract some supernatural attention. You can't hear any sound, but you can tell things are starting to get interesting by the way they all lean forward and wait for the next answer. The room appears to grow very hot for a moment and the man in the center rubs some sweat from his brow. As he does this, a white stuff- It's a bit weird how that is moving. If that's faked, they've- I suppose because of the quality of the video, there could be strings there. Um, yeah, I'm a bit- I'm a bit dubious of things I see now. Like I actually saw that this was uh, Ouija board possessions, um, because I'm like, yeah, I thought there'd be really scary stuff, but nothing has really scared me at the moment. All looked one hundred percent genuine. A bear above him springs to life. It appears to look down at the three of them, and it especially seems to regard the person on the left the most. The man on the left eventually looks up, and the two they found eyes. something from he immediately her. starts to point out the possessed bear to his friends. But when his friends look up to see what he's talking about, the bear stops moving. It looks like they get in a small argument for a moment as the man tries to convince his friends that he isn't making up a story and that he really did see the bear move. When Maybe there wasn't any strings then. Crazy. One of them picks up the bear and examines it. It doesn't do anything, so they all sit down with the Ouija board and start over again. When they start to ask another question with the Ouija board, the stuffed toy begins to look around some more. This time, it makes no attempt to hide itself as they all turn around and watch in horror. They all jump up from. I can't look at this without thinking of Ted now. Like, I, I can just imagine it starts shouting out profanities to them and just want to be in the bro. G Money Gaming and his friend decided to do it themselves using a Ouija board that they made with a piece of paper and a plastic pointer. Little did they know how effective their design would turn out to be. G Money begins asking if there are any spirits in the room with them, and he immediately gets a positive response. When he asks how many spirits there are, the answer is two. By this point, G Money and his friend are sufficiently scared, but they decide to keep going anyway. G Money bravely asks the spirits what their names are, and he gets a dreadful response Zozo and Mama. These two spirits are famous for haunting Ouija board users throughout the world, and they are even rumored to possibly be demons with strong ties to Satan. I feel like they may have just heard about that. Zozo. Zozo. Wasn't there a trend a few years ago where people were doing Ouija boards and calling for Zozo and things? Pretty sure there was like uh, teenagers like jumping on a trend. I think there was a big upsurge in these kind of videos due to that. Oh my God. I could be remembering it wrong though. Okay. What the heck was that? Surprise, motherfucker! We need it in the session right now. The Ouija board starts to spell Zozo over and over again in rapid succession, and then something is knocked over from deeper within the house. The two friends know that they have to end the session fast before anything bad can happen, so G Money quickly moves the pointer over to goodbye. Just when this happens, how does that work if it's only you doing it? Clearly, anybody would just say that it's just you moving it. I mean, it wasn't even precise. It was more like z -n 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 -z -n -n, rather than Zozo. Probably should have spaced out the letters a little bit more. Happens. The pointer slides away as if something had grabbed it. As they back out of the room, the entire board flies at them and they launch into okay. a full spring. That. That was. No, I wasn't expecting that. Let's check that out slower. The board moved. I don't know about that. The uh, the fact the the board kind of shifted, almost like maybe. A cut there or something. 
As they back out of the room, the entire board flies at them and they launch into a full sprint. If it was real, you'd shit yourself. I don't know if it is real though. <laughs> I, I don't know. Something about that just didn't feel right. I feel like it was probably faked in some way. Lisa, a man and a woman manage to successfully summon a female spirit while a third person films L I S A the spirit spells Lisa. This probably wasn't the best video to start with because I, th- I believe in the paranormal and stuff, but I feel like a lot of people fake Ouija boards. Um, and yeah, I, I don't like I say I've I, my mum claims she had a bad experience with a Ouija board when she was a teen, and she always told me never to touch them. And I kind of I listened to her because uh, yeah. After seeing things like The Exorcist and stuff like that, I, I was a little bit scared of those things being real. But when I went on that ghost hunt and I did that, I uh, did a Ouija board with a group of people and that guy was clearly pushing it. I, it just, yeah, it soured the experience for me with him and I probably wouldn't do him again because I wouldn't want to open myself up to anything like that. But yeah, I, I, I'm not saying they're not like people don't have bad experiences from these like my mom swears blind that doors started closing and things and she had to run out of the house and my mom isn't one for lying i don't know why she'd make anything like that up so even now now that she knows like you know she hasn't got to scare me out of touching things like ouija boards or anything like that so i i don't know I think some people have experiences, but I think a lot of it's fake. Sir. Did you push that? I did not push that. Seriously. None of you guys no. push that over to the X like that. No. You guys doing something underneath the table? No. No. Okay, so the show and there's no magnets or anything. After this, the pointer dashes to the letter X on its own. Neither one of them appear to have pushed the pointer to the letter X. It seems to have moved there completely on its own. The cameraman checks under the table for magnets, but he doesn't find any, and there doesn't look to be any strings. There's a quick cut in the video. So unfortunately, we can't exactly hear the next question that they asked. Either way, the pointer circles a bit and lands on yes, and then it darts on its own back to the mysterious letter X for a second time. If this video is to be believed, then why did the spirit repeatedly choose the letter X? Perhaps it could have meant that it was an X lover or on the other hand, the letter X could even represent her death. I mean, he showed under the table to show there was no magnet, but... That doesn't necessarily mean there's not a magnet in the board by the X and a magnet in the planchette that when they let go of it, it kind of pulls to the X. So you can't, I I mean, I don't know if that's possible, but as if that says Pazuzu as well, isn't that like, isn't that the demon from the Exorcist? Why would that be on the Ouija? Must be a custom one. Exactly what Lisa wanted will never be known. They understandably backed away from the board after the second time that the pointer moved on its own. However, it doesn't look like they properly ended the ceremony. So perhaps Lisa will be back for a second visit after all. Number five, contact. Prue continues to experience a high concentration of Ouija board possessions, this time in the city of Haiyan. Blanca Yovana is only 16 years old when she and her other friends begin to use the board for fun. Like so many others, she is not aware of the board's true danger and she is swallowed by evil for her ignorance. It's unclear how many times Blanca and her friends used the board to summon demons before she was finally overtaken by one. As if Blanca is a real name. I always thought it was a made up name on Street Fighter. Maybe she became possessed after using the board just once. Or perhaps it took days of repeated attempts before a demon found its way from the board into her soul. See, this could exactly just be how the kid, demon goddess no. is unknown. But in other Ouija board possession cases, it's usually either from taunting the spirit or failing to banish them back to their realm at the end of the ceremony. What we do know is that this began a minor possession which soon grew out of control.
Blanca went from being a carefree teenager to a violent maniac in just a matter of days. Her behavior became so aggressive that her family eventually could no longer deal with her. Jesus, what's she had her committed for a lack of a better idea. While in her possessed form, Blanca continued to amaze and scare psychiatric workers to no end. I'd be curious to know if she kind of acted this way before and if it was just a kid acting out. And, you know, you'd like if she was already like a troublesome kid and she then used the Ouija board and saw that as an excuse to behave even worse. All right, that, that is a possibility, I guess. But it's out of context. It doesn't show any of that information before, so there's no way of knowing. Well, I suppose there is. I could probably look it up, but... We'd be here all day if I start research in every video we do. And her evil antics even began to draw a crowd of curious locals <clears throat> and news reporters who all agree that she had seen the face of Satan when she wasn't trying to attack them outright. She was shouting mysterious satanic phrases and wailing terribly. See, not to say Chills is lying, but that isn't on video, so is that true? I mean, he sounds scarier, just adding that little tidbit, but... Like her family, the psychiatric ward eventually ran out of ideas and settled on chaining her to the wall to protect her from others. The demons... See, because this is foreign and there's no translation of what she's saying, she could just be saying... She could be shouting out that she's really sorry there. <laughs> Didn't get on... Uncuff me from the wall. I'm sorry I was dicking about, but we wouldn't know. So, I mean, if, if you can hear what she's saying and you want to translate it for us, let us know. Stayed inside her body for at least 21 days. This was in 2011. And while locals may not know what has happened, no follow up reports have ever left the city. This lack of information has led many to speculate that perhaps Lanka had to either been exiled or even killed so that the rest of the town could be saved. This footage comes from a YouTuber named No Big TV, who decided to tempt fate and make a video testing out Ouija boards. He is extremely skeptical at first, and he points out that Ouija boards can't be that scary if they are allowed to sell at Toys R Us. While he is waiting in line to buy it, however, a woman asks if he knows where the idea from Ouija boards came from. She says that the man who invented it sold his soul to the devil, and that making it readily available to kids was part of an evil conspiracy. <laughs> I mean, as far as conspiracies go, you know, when you see all the stuff about Hollyweird and artists selling the souls and stuff and the, there's an agenda and and things that don't know where people sit on those conspiracies but i mean it doesn't make any sense that they would sell something that could communicate with the dead if there was a sinister motive behind it and satan was uh you know we're doing his thing as the board anyway he picks up a friend named dave and heads to dave's apartment after briefly reading some instructions they are quickly communicating with the dead in no time they contact a spirit who says his name is josh he was born so if you buy a ouija board it comes with an, instru and an instruction manual do you reckon it says at the end make sure that you close down your communication and stuff like that do you reckon that's where the the whole thought of if you don't close it down properly. Do you reckon it was printed in one of these instruction manuals once? And it's kind of stuck. Born in 1921, things are getting a little... But yeah, if you do buy a Ouija board, do they come with a warning? Is there like a genuine warning on there saying, be careful because, you know, you could get a demonic possession? Because if you, like, if you take medication, there's always a... They have to list off a load of side effects. With toys with small pieces, they have to tell you that the small pieces that children could choke on. Is there a warning on the box that says, like, you know, you could end up possessed by a Pazuzu or something? Too or scary. Zozo. So no biggie TV pulls a prank on his friend by pretending to be possessed, and then the two get back to being serious. As the ceremony progresses, they start to hear breathing and other strange thumping noises. Besides thumping. the kitchen and the dog. The thumping? No, I hear some kind of breathing. That is so fucking spooky. What the fuck? Josh tells him that the house is not safe after using the Ouija board, but there is one thing that they can do to possibly change that. Burn me, Josh writes to them. Obviously, no one wants to have a haunted house, so the two friends waste little time doing exactly what Josh asks. They take the board around back and set the entire thing on fire, box and all. As the box burns, Dave's car starts to turn on randomly on its own. Even after they put the fire out, they could still hear the board sizzle. It gave no biggie TV an electrical shock when he touched it. Unfortunately, they couldn't burn the board properly. Are you serious? So they decided to drive as far as possible and throw it away instead. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Although they did say goodbye to the board, nowhere in the video does it show them properly ending the session. Just how angry Josh will be that they didn't follow his exact orders remains to be seen. Number three, the pizza possession. I'd be curious to see if you ever did like any follow-up videos, saying whether, you know, any other weird stuff happened. If Ouija boards are true, that normally starts off small, gets worse. I can't remember the term for it. Um, but yeah, they, there's a whole bunch of stuff that happens before you get possessed normally. According to things like Ghost Adventures and all of those shows. So I can't remember what the term is for it. Jackson Combs and his friend Stacy are bored late at night when they decide to summon some spirits to help pass the time. They are joined by a third friend, Alice, who brings with her the top of a pizza box. Together, they use it to make a homemade Ouija board. It's well past one in the morning by the time the three of them agree on a place to use it. They use a small cap as a pointer and spin it in three circles to clear the board. Then they begin. Is anybody there? Jason asks. The pointer does not move, so he repeats himself. That's when the cup moves down into the left, stopping on yes. Jason asks what the spirit's name is, and the ghost writes back, Susan. When asked if the spirit is good or bad, Susan says that she is good. Good. Then she says that she wants someone named Danny. None of them know who. Why would anybody ask that? Because if it was bad, surely it's not going to tell you it's bad. I'd be dubious if it's saying it was good. I'd be a bit like, okay, are you just double bluffing me? Who Danny is. So Susan says goodbye. The three just friends could have stopped here, no. but they enjoyed the experience. So they decided to keep it up and try to contact other spirits. Again, they make three circles with the cup to clear the board. Another spirit soon makes itself known, but this time it isn't as nice as Susan. Instead of asking what the spirit's name is, Jason asks if it's a good spirit. It signals that no, it is not. They could have immediately discontinued. See what I mean? Like what? Why would a spirit tell you? No, doesn't make any sense. Contact from there. But they weren't feeling threatened enough at the time. Jason asks for its name. John, it writes back. What do you want? Jason asks out loud. Kill is the response that he is given. Even though no other questions are asked, the cup suddenly moves to the no answer and flips over. The three of them hear a noise coming from the bathroom and Jason goes inside to investigate. Oh. No. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. The dramatic. The door shuts behind him and the house fills with his screams. When the girls are able to get the door open, he is cowering in the corner. How he was rattling around in there, I expected him to be beaten and bloody. Who's laughing now? Whatever had been summoned had viciously attacked him. Number two, Japanese TV. Did he though? Or did he just go in, close the door and bang around a little bit? Playing with a Ouija board seemed to be on some sort of Japanese television show. This isn't very she surprising since scary, some of the middle. scariest evidence of the paranormal seems to come from Japanese game like shows or investigation series. The girls have apparently been threatened by the spirit to not film this encounter but it's clearly not their decision. The border spirit threatens to curse the girls and they are understandably shaken up. It doesn't take long for all hell to break loose after this. One of the girls claims to see a woman and the group jumps, leaving two of the three young girls on the floor. In their panic, the quarter they were using as the planchette begins to move swiftly on its own. Furniture in the room begins to fly around as if being thrown and a strange loud clicking can be heard. <laughs> The footage becomes more and more chaotic before the video ends, leaving the viewer with concern and a desire for more insight. Something about that just didn't. It looked like something out of a movie. You know, a bit like Cloverfield. You know, where you kind of like, you're seeing stuff, but you're not seeing stuff. And yeah, 
I feel like, I mean, how the cameraman was shaking that camera, you would think they were in an earthquake, which that could have been what was going on. It looks like an earthquake more than anything. Number one, mass possession. The Elsa Perea Flores High School in Peru is said to be incredibly haunted. According to local rumors, the school was built on a gravesite that the mafia used to bury corpses. In May of 2016, a group of school children used a Ouija board to summon the spirit of one of the dead victims, and this footage showed it absolutely worked. Shortly after using the Ouija board, at least 20 students were all affected by a mass hallucination. I think I remember reading about this. I'm pretty sure that this kept on spreading to other schools, like because of mass hysteria. I think these kids claim that they, you know, were possessed and and things from the Ouija board. And then I'm pretty sure the surrounding towns. I think there was like a stupid amount of people. That, and, it, you know, a little bit like TikTok trends, how they, how they, that TikTok tick that happened, I think it was like that, but we're like, with a demon. The children fell to the ground and went into seizures as they vomited. <laughs> I've only ever read about it though, I've never actually seen any footage from it. Didn't know it existed. They are out. They, uh, they often, I mean, I believe mass hysteria is a thing, but I don't know, with something like this, I don't, I'm more inclined to believe there could be something paranormal that caused this. Um, but then again, the human body's weird, mass hysteria. And yeah, I suppose if that's, I don't know if I believe the paranormal side or the scientific side on this one. They were uncontrollable and had to be loaded into trucks and driven to the hospital for examinations. In the weeks that followed, almost a hundred other students fell victim to the same mysterious condition. They would be acting normal. Told you, I knew I'd read about that. Only one moment, and then on the ground having a full-blown seizure the next. It was always on school property. In fact, it wouldn't be uncommon for students from different classes to pass out at the exact same time. Many of the students complained about the same evil spirit attacking them. A man dressed in all black with a big bushy beard. He always wanted to hurt them, they said. It also wasn't uncommon for the children to hear voice. I don't remember that bit to it. I don't remember them mentioning seeing a bearded man i could just be misremem misremembering it or again it's just adding a bit of flavor to the story this doesn't feel relentlessly stalked like someone was going to come up from behind and snatch them at any moment one of the students even claimed to have felt a large pair of hands tighten around her neck you would think that they could somehow fight back but high school ends earlier in peru than most other countries as such these were all children between the ages of 11 and 14 they were all completely helpless and unable to defend themselves the school officials eventually sought the help of catholic priests to perform exorcisms and to hold mass Unfortunately, none of this seems to have helped very much. According to the latest reports, whatever was unleashed by the Ouija board continues to haunt the poor school kids to this they day. They are knockouts, aren't they? Okay, so that's my first reaction video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, like, and comment down below 